this tutorial, I want to use the replace part with copy command. So I'm going to create a frame with um, an angled top section and then three uprights. So I'm, I've just got a 50 by 50 um, by a meter. And if I want to use the same part for um, the upright, I can drag that in and quickly place my um, relationships to position it. So we've got two of the same parts, so modifying one is going to adjust, um, affect the other. So I can select that one and come up here and use the replace part with copy. Let's set that with a right mouse click. And I just need to um, give it a name. So now we've got two separate parts in here. Um, hitting the escape key and then control spacebar allows me to um, go into parts uh, face selection mode so I can add a um, angle on the top here. So we're just going to have this as a 25 degree um, angle. So control spacebar takes me back to part selection mode. I can select the bottom one and we can do a replace part with copy. Sorry, um, let's just pull this in first. So if I drag that one back in, and place a couple of relationships. Um, if I go and create a mate on the bottom, And then I'll escape out at this stage. And um, if I just move my steering wheel here, I can just bring it up so that it's in line with the end. And as we said before, we do a replace part with copy. And we call this one top frame and switching back to face selection mode i can pick up on this face here position my steering wheel on that bottom edge and rotate this around so that we're back um, vertical and then likewise on the opposite end I can do the same. So just position the steering wheel. Um, we can get the desired result. So we've got that all square. And while that face is selected, um, I can just come out and snap to a point on the end face. And that gives me my um, length that I'm after. So um, bringing in my um, upright part again. I can place this, start with a mate at the bottom, and then um, we can go and align like so. So um, obviously, as you can see, we've um, Got this in the wrong place. Go back to part selection mode. I can do a replace with copy. Accept it. And rename this one. Um, this is the third one, so I'll up three. And similarly to what we did before, if we um, Head back into um, face selection mode. I can select that top piece, 
and position my steering wheel at the top of the upright. I can then just drag that up so that it gets to the right size. I don't need to know what that size is. Um, so then we've got the middle one. So we do the same thing. If we um, bring this one back in. Um, I can take the mate take the alignment and then for the third and last relationship I can go with the center plane so I've got this set to double selection so I'll take that midpoint of those two and I'm just going to use this bottom bottom piece so that positions that in the center so finally we go replace part with copy and accept this And then like before, I can pick up on here and position the steering wheel on the center. And I should be able to pick up on a key point on here. That's um, all good. But uh, one other technique that we can use here is if we place one in between these two. And let's get that bottom face sorted. So now if I just move this um, move this longer um, arbitrary distance. Now, if I try and drag that face up, um, I'm going to get um, a struggle to get that orientation um, or a key point to mate it to. So for this, this example, um, I need to start with the replace part with copy. And then for this one, I'm going to actually go in and um, edit the part in place. So now I can pick up on this face here. Um, Actually, firstly, what I'll do is I'll come into the um, tools menu, make sure I have peer locate on. And then if I um, set that position there, um, actually, I'll go into the surfacing tools and do a replace face. Select that, right mouse click to accept it, select that one, and that gives me my um, new height. Um, one of the other options that I could have done was to do a um, face relate, so um, have an offset or um, a um, coplanar to achieve that result. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how the replace part with copy can be used.
and um, yeah, hopefully that helps.